Hello and welcome to another DocuWare how-to video presented by Mike and Technologies, a DocuWare Platinum partner and Diamond Club member based in St. Louis, Missouri. Today, we're going to take a look at building a DocuWare printer configuration within DocuWare version 6.12. The DocuWare printer is a powerful tool to print documents into a document tray or into a file cabinet. Documents are printed into DocuWare into PDF format. The DocuWare printer can be set up to recognize the document format and then perform zone-based OCR to gather index information. To do this configuration, you need to have a sample document that you can use as a template. To start, let's log into DocuWare. As you can see, I have my sample document set up in my document tray here. Here is the document that we're going to set up a configuration for so that every time we print this document directly from our Microsoft Word program, it's going to go directly into our file cabinet and indexed. Let's go ahead and start by unstapling this document. Here are our five pages. Now we want to open our printer configuration. Make sure you're logged in as the admin. Go down to printer. You'll see our current printer configurations there. We want to create a new one, so click on the plus sign. We'll call this demo configuration for now. We want to store it into a file cabinet. We want our ACC demo file cabinet, standard store dialog. If you want to store it to a document tray, you would select document tray there and select your document tray. Now let's click next. We'll move on to identification. As soon as the configuration page opens, you're asked for a sample document. We want to use one from our document tray, so click that radio button. Let's go up here and select our document tray and select the document. Now we have our document set up. Now what we want to do is click on the anchor icon and draw a box around the Money Corporation. A blue highlight will appear. This will register the text to this position. Click on the readout icon and draw a box around purchase order. If you make a mistake, click on the eraser icon and delete whatever it is you just did. We want to make sure our anchor is set up for all readout areas. Click next. Now we're on the splitting page. Click on the anchor and draw a box around the money corporation to register the document's location. Click on the readout and draw a box around purchase order. Now look at the info on the right hand side. Make sure the split document checkbox is checked. We are not using a fixed number of pages, so we need if the text criteria below are found, a radio button selected. With the readout area 1 highlighted, you can see that to split this document, the text needs to read purchase order. As with the identification page, scroll down and set the anchor for the text of the anchor. Remember, it is possible to have multiple anchors that can be used to help correct slightly moving text. Let's click on Next. Next is our indexing page. On the indexing page, we are using both readout boxes and a barcode. Click on the readout icon and draw a box around the PO number. Grab the arrow and move it to the PO number field as shown. Draw a text box around purchase order and point the arrow to document type.
Draw a text box around the vendor's name and point the arrow to vendor name. Draw a text box around the vendor's number and point the arrow to vendor number. Draw a text box around the purchase date and point the arrow to document date. For this exercise, we want to automatically enter the document status, the storage date, and who stored the document. Start by going to the document status. Click on the plus sign. We want a fixed entry of new. Now hit apply. Go to storage date. Hit the plus sign. This time select dynamic entry. Use the pull down for current date and click apply. Next we want to go to stored by. Click on the plus sign. Again select dynamic entry and select current user short name and hit apply. These three entries will be automatically filled with this information that can be used as indexes for quality control and for employee performance reviews. Click on next to continue. We do not want to redirect a physical printer so leave the checkbox blank. If used you can select the physical printer here. Select to use a form or letterhead with this checkbox. You can also attach an additional document if desired, like a terms and conditions page. You can select that file here. You can use electronic signatures and a certificate. We're not using any of this, so let's hit next. We're not using a former letterhead, so we'll hit next. On the permissions page, add the users who will be using the template and make sure that there are two administrators. When finished, click on Save and Close. There's our new printer configuration right there. To test it out, select Docura Printer and hit Print. This will now, automa this will now automatically be stored to our file cabinet.